Hey there, Kelly Sparta. So um, today we're going to talk about releasing the how. We're going to talk about meditation, um, no, not meditation, manifestation. So one of the biggest challenges with people trying to manifest is that they get stuck in the how, right? If you're trying to create a new reality, the how is the, the cursed how is what, uh, uh, if, you, if you get messages from the universe, touch messages from the universe uh, with uh, 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 Mike Dooley uh, from the Adventurers Club, he, he always talks about the cursed hows, which I love. And uh, so if you are trying to manifest, you have to let go of the how. And, and what do I mean by that? So let's, let's talk about that. So there is a what, which is I am moving to Spain, right? Now, in actuality, my I am moving to Spain is a I am moving to Europe in order to be able to have a jumping off point to be able to tour Europe for a year, maybe two, to, to be able to do all of the travel that I've wanted to do in Europe without having to go back and forth and back and forth from the US, right? And so, you know, right now I'm saying I'm going to Spain and I am, I'm going to, to Valencia. We're going to go and check it out. But if I hate it there, I will pick someplace else, right? <laughs> so I'm not worried about the how. Right? I'm, I'm worried about the what. Where am I going? What is the purpose for me going? What do I want? And the where can change depending upon what it is that I'm trying to accomplish. Now, you know, as I'm doing research in the process of, of doing this work, I am saying, oh, maybe I need to go someplace else before I go to Spain. Maybe I need to establish residency somewhere else, or maybe I need to set up a corporation somewhere else. I don't know. I'm still researching. That's part of the how that's showing up as I'm doing the research, right? But unless I was actually doing it, I would not know what the how was, because this is one of the big things people get stuck in, right, is, is the how. If you go, well, I don't know how to move to Spain, then you'll never move to Spain, right? But if you say, oh, well, I'm moving to Spain and you go, okay. And you go, well, how's that going to happen? I don't know. I'm going to figure it out as I go. It'll make, it'll, it'll find its way through the process. It'll be fine. Right. We get stuck in the how we think we have to know every single step on the journey. And the fact is that the journey informs your journey. It informs the process. It even informs the outcome. And it may change the outcome if you have opening for that to be the case. So as I said, I want to be able to travel around Europe. And so maybe there will be another opportunity to do that that shows up that is better than moving to Europe for a year or two. And I'm open to that. That'd be okay, right? It might be Spain. It might be Portugal. It might be somewhere else. It might be something else entirely that I haven't even thought about. And I'm all open to the how. I'm not attached to the how, right? So what I'm going with is, hey, I want to go there and I don't want to get slammed with double taxes. And I, you know, I want to make sure that I can jump from place to place because that's the purpose of going. So I don't want to have to be limited to stay in country for X period of time and all of that, right? So there's, there's a lot of things that I'm like, okay, these are the things that I want and I don't know how I'm going to have it happen, but I'm going to figure it out, right? And so uh, I think it's Marie Forleo is, talks about figure outable, which I love, right? So when you are setting your expectations, when you're setting your goals, when you're setting your manifestations, you want to be really clear about the what and the why. What do I want? Why do I want it? Because sometimes the what is, is inherently self-limiting, right? I want you to be really clear about the what because the why informs the what. So if, for instance, somebody were to tell me that they have a yacht and they're going to be touring the Mediterranean for the next year and they would like me to come and live on the yacht and that would be the way I would get to see Europe and I wouldn't have to establish residency at all. I'd be like, can I bring my dog? <laughs> right? 
because I don't care how it happens. Now, if they told me they were going to have a plane that was always flying, I, I don't like to fly that long. So it would be a, a hard pass for me on that one. But a yacht, I might be open to that. I might be open to a yacht if it's not on the open ocean and we're not going to have a lot of heavy seas and whatnot. And, you know, if I can go and stay on land periodically. But the the how is not important. Do I get to go and see all the places I want to see? Do I not have to travel eight hours from the U.S. to get there every time I want to go and see the places I want to see? Yes. Okay, great. So these are the ways in which um, you want to pay attention to what you're looking for. So I often hear people say things like, uh, well, I want, I want a, I want a cheap apartment. Like, Okay, why? Why do you want a cheap apartment? Do you actually want a cheap apartment? Because cheap apartments are usually poorly kept. Or do you just want to be able to live without working harder than you're working now? Live better without working harder than you're working now? And they go, well, I want to live better without working harder than I'm working now. I'm like, okay. So that's a different thing, right? That, there's so many more options there than a cheap apartment. You could find a position where you are a caretaker for the property and you're living on a big estate in the guest house and you're or in the caretaker's property if they if it's a big enough estate that might actually have a caretaker's property and all you got to do and you love to garden let's say and you just have to take care of the garden and the lawn well that would be fantastic for the right person for me it would be misery because i don't like to be out in the heat and I don't like to dig down into the garden and do that I'm, and I'm a terrible gardener I know because I, I've been trying for the last two years and sucking at it right but you know for somebody that would be a really good deal or somebody else you might say uh for for another situation you might say oh well I want to not work as hard and live better okay great I want to not work as hard and live better well that's a simple concept just get a better job get a raise at your current job you know However you do that, that, that's another option that you can do that doesn't require you to move, doesn't require you to find another landlord or another living situation or whatever. There's all sorts of ways that the how can come into play when you're clear about the what and not putting limitations on how you think it has to happen, right? So be clear about the what. I want to have a better quality of life with the same amount of work, right? That's a different request than I want a cheap apartment because that's the how, right? The cheap apartment is the how. That's the limiting thing. So always be as broad as possible in your what so that the universe can give you as many options as possible for where you want to go, okay? That's it for this time. I will see you next time. Get really clear on your manifestations and, I, and, and do a favor. Let me know. Put, make some comments in the in the notes and tell me what you're manifesting today and uh, and lay out what your lay out what your what is uh, so that we can uh, make sure that you're not limiting your perspective. If you will put your what in the comments, I will help you to clarify it. Put your what and your why, and I will help you clarify what you should be asking for and whether or not you're limiting it with your belief structures. Okay? So that's your, your uh, criteria for today. Make some comments and I will look forward to answering those soon. All right, we'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.